Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we have a product that I'm excited to show off. And this is the Spec Ops brand, Recon Ruck Ultra Tactical Rucksack. What a mouthful. Let's start with the 360. Now, this pack may look familiar for a number of reasons, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take it off, take a look at the pack, and we'll get started. So here we go, my friends. We have the pack, we're ready to show it off. And let's just go ahead and go over all the different pockets, functions, and so on. So we'll start here right at the lid. Lots of webbing so you can attach pouches and so on. You have these two straps which connect basically the lid to the main portion of the pack to secure it down, which you can use maybe to stuff a layer in between this, whatever you wanna do. Hunker down some additional gear. Two buckles. Attach the lid to the body of the pack. As you can see here, with the lid removed, you do have a drawstring closure, just like that. Going down below, you have three pockets, and each one of these are very good size. On the bottom of each of these pockets, you do have drainage holes, which you might not be able to see, but they are there. With these three pouches, these three pockets, you have buckles that support them. You have Velcro on the inside of the lids, which attach to the outside of the pocket. Let me go ahead and show you that right here. So you have Velcro on the inside of the lid. And then right here on each one of these pouches, you have an additional piece of Velcro. So let's say you fill this pocket full, you can open that up and attach it just like that. That flap of Velcro secures all of your gear inside of the pocket so it's not gonna fall out. And like I said, these are very good sized pockets. Let me just go ahead and show you what I have in this one right here. Rain cover. That is not included with this pack, that's for a different pack. Waterproof jacket. Dry bag. And a pair of waterproof pants. All of that inside of one pocket with plenty of space left over. I could stick my entire arm inside of this, my fist. So as you can see there, I mean, it's a lot of space. Very good quality buckles, plenty of strappage here so you can make adjustments and so on. Going down to the bottom of the pack, you can see here that the cordage offers you enough room that you can fit something small in there if you want to. There's not gonna be any way to really adjust this, so I don't know. You may fit something in there, you may not. That's up to you. Flipping the pack over to the side, you can see additional webbing right here for additional attachments. You have the same on the other side as well. So flipping the pack over, taking a look at the back side, you have this drag handle right here, which is very burly, very reinforced. This is three pieces of webbing sewn together, so it's very burly. Right here, you do have a removable shoulder harness. It does have quick disconnect, at the bottom, you have the sternum strap, which is also adjustable. Going up, you have some D-rings, which are metal, not plastic. Going down, you do have a waist belt here. Very simplistic. This is for basically just pulling the pack in close to your body. It's not for comfort. Now, going back to the harness itself, again, this is removable. Just in case you want to add a frame to this pack. Now, when you purchase this pack, it is frameless. But, one cool thing is, is that this pack will accept an Alice frame or a 1606 frame. And when you do that, this pack becomes extremely comfortable when you're carrying larger loads. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the pack here. You have this slightly expandable top lid, drawstring at the top here. It holds a good amount of gear. This is the equivalent to the medium size Alice pack. <laughs> Take a look at the inside of the pack here. What you have is basically a large rucksack, very good size. You have a buckle right here with another buckle right here, and you could put a hydration bladder inside of this. You could put something behind this sleeve right here, and you can use that to hunker it down. Behind that sleeve, you have an additional sleeve, I suppose, and this has a piece of foam in it, and that's your sort of makeshift frame. It gives you a little bit of comfort. Now, you can slide additional plastic frames inside of this which I may do in the future. Now, when it comes to the dimensions for this pack, you are looking at a pack that is 17 and a half inches tall. It is 14 inches wide. 
and it has a thickness of about six and a half inches. The total amount of capacity for this pack is right at 2,300 cubic inches. It's just a little bit shy of that. Each one of these pockets here are huge and offer you 231 cubic inches worth of space. You're looking at 11 inches tall, six inches wide, and three and a half inches thick, which is very impressive. The materials for this pack is 1000D Kadura. So it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be strong, and you can see there, the stitching is fantastic. And that is the way it is throughout the entire pack. So as you may have guessed, this is essentially the modern day Alice pack. It took all the original features and approved upon them, except for one thing. And this is kind of a bummer, and hopefully this is something that they will fix in the future. With the previous Alice pack, you had a separation between the front pockets and the pack itself, so you can slide something down in between it. That feature has been removed with this pack, so there's no way to access to slide maybe, say, your hatchet down behind the pocket, which is a shame because carrying your hatchet, your axe that way, is a fantastic way of carrying your gear. That's a small nitpick. As you can see right there, the lid itself is attached directly to the pack. Now this pack runs about $200 on the Spec Ops brand website. You can usually find this pack on sale. I picked mine up for around 100 bucks, and it seems like a lot of people have too. Now I have to say that this pack is extremely, extremely popular. If you haven't heard of it before, uh, I'd be surprised actually because this pack is so incredibly popular. It's incredibly high rated on the internet. Everybody loves the Alice pack. Everybody loves this pack as well. Now one thing I want to point out here that may surprise you, check this out, Spec Ops, right? Made in the United States. I'm sure that'll make a number of you guys happy. Made in the United States and it is guaranteed for life. So if you have any issues, any problems, they're gonna fix it. That's pretty awesome. When it comes to colors for these packs, there's plenty of different options to choose from. Many colors that the original Alice pack never came in. So you have Coyote Brown, you have ACU, you have different camo patterns, uh, black of course, and so on. Now when it comes to my impressions of this pack so far, I'm happy to give them to you. I'm very, very impressed. The quality of this pack is fantastic. Now I'm a fan of the Alice pack. I like the medium size pack. The large version, in my opinion, was just too big. You could put too much stuff in it. And when you can do that, people usually do overfill. So in my opinion, the large size was just too darn big. And I find that the medium size is perfect. And this really is the equivalent to the medium size Alice pack. So like I said, the quality is great. The pockets are great. I like the fact that you have that piece of Velcro, which you can fold down to protect all of your gear. And then the Velcro secures that pocket shut. That is a nice feature. You don't have to worry about your items falling out. I do wish you had the separation between the pocket and the pack itself so you can slide down your hatchet your, or your axe. Small nitpick, you can definitely rig up something, especially with the webbing here on the side. Now, when it comes to the frame, I plan on using an Alice pack and I will make a video of installing that. I will even get my hands on a 1606 frame. I have one already with the FILBE pack. But uh, that thing is such a chore to get out. You can buy those frames for like $16, so I might as well just do that. Since this is a frameless pack, one thing that I plan on doing before I take this pack out is grab a frame sheet for this pack. And what I'm thinking is possibly ILBE, uh, the main pack frame sheet, or even possibly the FILBE assault pack frame sheet. The frame sheet on that pack is pretty darn large, and I happen to have one of those, so I'm gonna give that a shot. And I may do a video on me installing that frame sheet and providing my opinions. Now, when it comes to use, I have not carried this pack very far, maybe two, three miles, so right now my opinions are pretty muted. It's comfortable for that distance for a light weight of around 20 pounds. Now, I will be using this pack on a day trip coming up, so you guys will get to see this pack in action, and I will film a follow-up providing more insight in my opinion. So my question for you guys is, who has used one of these packs? Like I said before, these are highly reviewed on the internet. They're extremely popular. They fit and can use all Alice mods and frames and so on. And I tell you what, I've seen nothing but praises for this pack. So I'm really excited to get it out onto the trail and begin testing it out. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well.